Hello and welcome back. Right, I've got these two, I've got the course. I'm just checking something. It didn't look like it got the work width right, but I think it's working on the schnuffle stuck, but it is the right um it is the right thing, so and yeah, just making sure that it is okay. Before leaving them on there. Yeah, because this is the bit that I really don't want to go wrong like it did last time. That seems to be okay. This is the one I just want to make sure this is. I've got a lower crate field. I remembered to do that. Let's just make sure. Right, we will be. Yeah, I'll be keeping my eye on them, but yeah, that is spot on. Smashing. Right, let's grab the others. We have five tractors to sort out now. We do. Luckily, the yams, both of these have got their contraptions already on, so yes. Let's get these all on to follow me. I don't know what possessed me to buy that. I really don't know. What, of what use it is, but I'm going to look for one. Right. Smash in. Let's grab the doits. How are those two doing? Always tickles me that it doesn't always show you the um, what they've done straight away. Alright, so we want to drop that. Might as well actually grab the other as well. I do think now we are actually getting there with how much yeah the equipment that we've got. Let's just swap these over to standards. It's gonna drive me crazy seeing these gangly things. I'm gonna test that um thing as well. So I had that uh, this flatbed the other day, um this trailer. And it uh 700, I think it is, TM700, there the ones, customised, yes, brilliant, yeah, it's, I couldn't get it, um, it to work, I couldn't get any tractor to go up those um, ramps, which is one of the reasons I really wanted that, I thought it was, a. Uh, yeah, right, let's keep our eye on those two, yeah, so far, so good. Let's get the others to follow these now. Right, let's get these two sorted up the top. I know we're wasting a little bit more needs. There is no perfect way to do this sort of thing. It's the annoying thing is, I know that these are in a bit of a mess up here. Last time I wasted time. Ah, that's right, there's one of them over here. I remember that as well. Wow, that's quite impressive for me, remembering little details like that. I seem to remember one of these needed fuel in as well. One of them's not got as much fuel as you would like. Right, so, I'm going to have to quickly break off, follow me, or he's going to try and do exactly the same as I'm doing now. That is the curse of follow me. Yeah, if you go into a wall, then they'll all go to the wall. No, no, you know the... Right, I was... I did stop you manually, this is definitely true. Yeah, one of these is in a bit of a mess. You have to, like, literally... Yeah, I don't know what... How on earth I actually... I must have caught it, this one here, because it's, like, someone's... Yeah, it's that complete wrong way round. So I'm presuming I must have clocked it or something to get it in that position. And then have I enough tractors? Or do I still need to nick the best, you know, our big tractor? Well, no. Two big tractors are already nicked. Right, how are they doing? Still alright so far. Oh. Smash it. Right. Now let's get YouTube back and follow me. 
and I don't mind doing the yeah get four of them going no no that's silly let's just get them all five sorted out even if we have to To follow. I do like this. I'm getting used to this now. Just to get to have the have the line on the right one, and then just let the driver pop. And it is as simple as that. Slightly different to the old way, but actually I prefer it. And it's quite good. Right. So we need to. I do hope. No, have they disappeared. No, you can see them. You just couldn't see the driver at the time. Right. Smashing. Yay, that's the one we want to follow. Smashing, right. Let's grab the... The fast track. And... Let's drop you off. And we need to quickly whiz and put the weights and that on. Yes, we are going to do this in style this time, because last time, even the three, that's why I've, afterwards I bought two more, but I thought this time, let's learn from the mistake of last time and actually do the five at the beginning rather than at the end, because then it would take a lot less time. I think it took also two, two sets of unloading, at least two. Yeah, it was. It was quite a set of stone which I put at the top. Yeah, I just dumped it at the top of the field and then I was going to grab it into a trailer when we'd finished. Which, of course, then, yeah, I've rolled this back to the save before. Right. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry, I've got a frog in throat. So let's get this underway. Now I need to, yeah, last one's not to. Oh no, this should be. This should be working. There is indeed. They're just yeah, keeping the distance. Right. Oh, no, that was right. I think. No. Yes, they don't are a bit prone to do that, if I'm honest. Little terrors for bashing the person in front. Right. Let's get this. Yes, there's a group going. I've missed this. I love follow me for this reason when you're doing things exactly like this. It is amazing. Now, the only weird thing is as well, sometimes you look back and the tractors look like they've not got drivers and then you look back on the map and they are all there. It's weird. I keep thinking it's gone wrong, but it's not. It's just that it's almost like showing just the picture of a tractor for a second, but if you look on the proper map, it does show the little the wheels for like the drivers are driving. So, now let's think about this. No, everyone's roughly this speed. The fast track, I think, is literally chasing down the one before because he's faster. Yeah, it is a bit of it always, always tickled me, follow me, because it literally does clock. Literally does clock the one in front. Right, we need to get these all off, follow me. We'll definitely finish the field, which shouldn't take very long with having those monsters. Just want a bit of tidy up. Just want to make sure, though, that these are not going to misbehave. They're looking good so far. Fantastic. But the fast track has actually yeah, overtaken that one. So he must be following the one in front. Right. Smashing. Now we'll set the course in a minute, but I'll just get them all off. Follow me. Just wanted to make sure that we still don't... We didn't have any accidents so far, so good. But yeah, you don't know. I don't know at what point it actually veered off. Ooh, yeah, that's exactly what always tickled me about Follow Me. <laughs> the amount of times I've had them following me, and you're sitting at a junction and you get whacked, 
and pushes you in front of a car or something. It's ridiculous. Right, so they're all ready. Are they all still going the right way? I think they're actually on the last run. Right, let's grab the, the one that's in the lead. Is that I'm going to do the start? Yeah, let's just do the top of the field. It does make more sense to tidy up this these little bits and bobs than it does to wait and go back all the way down to the bottom and then come all the way back up. Now let's remember realism. Yeah, I don't want any ploughing around corners. Yeah. Smashing at that, I cannot believe how quickly these have done. Two fields, yeah. If only the stone pickers could, even with five, I'm sure you could probably go on and on and on and on to make this a quick job. But yeah, I, I think I'll draw the line at five. We shall see how long it takes them to actually do this. I'm thoroughly enjoying my time on it, it's absolutely amazing. Gonna have to check the numbers. I'm not sure it, uh, how um, how other people are finding this. Yeah. Right. Whether it's still yeah, I often found that uh, yeah on the big maps. Actually, the, the channel has grown quite a lot. Actually, the numbers are very good in a lot of ways. Um, I, I've always said this, um, Dagoin's the same as this, one thing I do admire him for. I, I'm not a big one for like saying uh, subscribe, you know, and all that type of stuff. I'm not, because people know that's what you're hoping, but also I don't want to pressurise people. At the end of the day, I mean, I, this is a hobby of mine. Of course, yeah, like anything, you hope that you are going to, uh, the channel's going to do well. And that's as much as I've ever hoped for. I've never, w uh, never... Now I've got a job already, I'm not, and I do like my job, but yeah, to me I, uh, I'm an IT, well, IT manager, my company calls it, but used to my old job, I was a network manager was the title, I've worked a long time, and I love that job, I love working with computers, now then, you are, I'm going to, it looks like, Mexican standoff, and this is a big plow, right, why are you coming? Oh, because the stop points are past me, that's why. Okay, well, we do have, we do have the ability to say, Oi, stop. How's that? Finish that bit. Why is oh no? Because he was yeah. Ooh, no, not quite. Not quite. But yeah. These are monstrous, but absolutely fantastic. And I cannot recall that we ever had anything anywhere near this big in FS19. So yes, this is definitely unique. It is right. We'll get this, and then we should set those five. Yeah, it's, we are certainly getting some tractors now. We have, and they're all different. Yeah, right, different horsepowers. Two two forties now. At one ninety. One four three. I'm trying to think which ones. And yeah, three forty eight, of course. Yeah. I do like that. It's nice to have a good range. And I do think we are probably about there. It is funny. I remember when I used to think that three tractors was enough. I had this sort of, yeah, thing that, like, yeah, no, no, I don't need any more than three tractors. But then when I started to use course play quite a lot, um, teamwork is, yeah, is so necessary. Sometimes, well, a bit like this, this job you definitely need at least five. Uh, you could 
yeah, you could literally use seven tractors. Of course, the Funkuses are quite... I think it's 150, 160 horsepower requirement, so you can't have any old tractor. You can't have one of the, yeah, 100 horsepower job. Like, yeah. But apart from that... Right, this is the last strip then for him, and then we'll get the Versatile to finish that little bit where they are. And then that's this field done. Amazing. That literally must have taken about 15, 20 minutes. So that is phenomenal. Right, let's fold you up. Yes, it is nice to have two big tractors. And, and you know, I've got to be honest, I think on this, this let's play, I've done better and gone further quicker than ever before. That I am going to say. Right, first tile. Yeah, even low note, actually. Yeah, low note was just um, starting up, to be honest. I was just getting to the exciting part. But obviously, FS19 was ending and FS22 was just on the horizon so I, I stopped my low note before it really got to the point where yeah where I was getting to this kind of point where you were getting really good equipment I was earning the money I just started to do really well where you had hundreds of tons a day of manure from the cows which I st stuck straight into the biogas plant and then the slurry yard at it and everything it was amazing yeah, but again, this one I've actually... Whoa. Wow. Yeah, I've got further and done more than ever before. And that is a really nice place to be. Yeah, the old stream farm, I um, always regret that. It had a, a massive view of viewing base, uh, and I moved the farmyard. Just a simple thing, I thought. And the next session, I had lost all the viewers taught me a very valuable lesson that it, yeah obviously I was trying to improve things but I did such a change that everyone was really upset about it and no one said anything but they didn't need to because there was hardly anybody watching after that session so yeah I'm always sort of very careful now to make baby step changes rather than massive changes now this is going to get complicated with having five I've never done this many I don't think Right, so we need to create the course first. Let's get on with this. Right, then create job. That's a point. Can you... Can you do it for five? I think you can do it for more, if I'm honest. Right, so field CP4 with its weird edge. Open generator. Five. You can. Number of vehicles. Doesn't it give you a limit? And it's actually got the 2.8 right this time. That is good. Number of headlands, remember there are five of them. Still it's tiny. So I'm going to go... Yeah. Although there's nothing to clock on this one, but yeah, we'll just try that. Now then, I'm going to save this before this, yes. Because this is where I lost an entire session the other day. So I'm not going to do that again. And do I have to create the course again? Probably. It seems to, yeah, if you don't do it or save it, it seems, yeah. Ridiculous. Right, create job. How can you possibly lose that field position? Open oh, generator. Yeah, you've got the information seed, so you've not. Right, let's see, because this could take a while. Yeah, or then again, it could just take a few seconds. Right, so that looks fantastic. Right, let's save that. So yeah, we'll do it in CP4. Save course. Activate. 2.7 meters. 5 tools. Right, so you are... Ooh, so you didn't like that. Well, you have the viewers left one. We're going to do this in order. So your left one first. 
go. Ooh, we don't want to start and start, we want nothing. That's number one, so left one. So now we want centre. One. It is it is a very simple way of doing it really. Two point seven meter five, load, activate. Del stop done. First left. Now we want centre. And first go. And now. Right one. Clear load activate. Tell. Right one. Go. Please tell me do that. Yeah, that was right. So that was centre, that's right one. So now we want left one. No, I'll leave you to last. You can be the rear guard. Right, let's make sure they're all good. This one I'm going to time lapse, but yes, yeah, so no, we don't want that yet. We want to actually pick the course. That one can literally load, activate. Now that's bizarre. I was just, yeah, just going to say, I wonder if it does that. It was highlighted as we all saw. And I have, I've even checked this in editing to make sure I'm right. It is true. It can be highlighted, and it's almost like it's not really highlighted. Right, so we want, do we don't do it first? And we do want left too. Excellent. I didn't even have to do anything. So now we need right two. You see, now that is highlighted. If I say clear current load, it's, and then it unhighlights it. Now I understand. Clear load, activate. But it is highlighted, and that is my point. Now, why are you saying engine starting? It is starting. Right then, and we want first, we want right to smash in. Right, now then, yes, now this should be the last one on the field, it really should. So, I am going to say my word. No, no, I'm not actually. Do you know something? We are going to go and cut the trees on. Six. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, which this was never on the original episode. I do like this. Right. Let's. Yeah. In fact, let's grab you. I don't know of what you shall be whatsoever. I don't know what you do. Just weird. Just push a thing, magic. What, what can you do? You can go up and down, and left and right, and unfold vehicle. Ah. And lower and, and and push things. That is. So can you could you use it for pushing a windrow? I'm, I'm trying to think of. To me, it looks like it's got a three points at the back, but it's not, is it? But it. Is it right? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do my research on this because it is. Yeah. Oh, I know what we do need. We do need. Yeah. In fact, we do need a trailer for this. I do. So yeah, this is no good for us whatsoever. It really isn't. I'm going to want... Actually, yeah, they will do. I'm not sure if they'll actually do what I want them to. Though. I'm not sure if they can see this trailer. It is, it is the right kind. It's a pinch pot, but I'm almost sure it doesn't like this. Because you can see that it's a pinch pot, but I don't think it senses this one. No. And it is definitely a pinch pot. Will this let me use... Right, I need to go out of third person. It doesn't like this at all. Right, so we need to... For wood. Oh, no. What am I thinking? That's not what I'm after at all. I'm after this. Wake up. <laughs> Stop being an automatic pilot. 
here. Can we use the sort of platform a bit on this? Will it let me? Hmm. Oh, I forget. It won't let you in that way. Uh, oh, I hate that. It's gone wrong. It won't let me in that way either. Has anyone else had this problem where you can't get in the vehicle and it literally does happen quite frequently and you have to go on the map is the only way you can actually get it working? Well, that does work. Got to be careful or it's going to slide all over the place. So no sudden changes of direction and a very gradually build up speed. Actually, no, that one has got a, that's got a platform that's probably better than this. So I probably can use that thinking about it. Let's let's have a go. No, no point buying something and I am gonna do my homework on it though, because there's gotta be more of a use than it's definitely got something on the back. Ooh. Okay. You didn't like that, did you? No, you did not like that, even though you've got like a platformy thing, you don't like people to put things on it. Sort of like got collisions or something. Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay. Well, we should stick to... In fact, you know something. We're not that far away. Let's go and cut. Cool. Let's see how those lot doing first. Ooh, doing very nicely. Yeah. I shall... Be, it's not going to take me long to cut these trees down. He says. Actually, it is. There were quite a lot. Right. Yeah, we'll take this. Yeah. So actually, I'm not bothered about cutting them all. Just the ones that are really, yeah, really sort of coming out into, which is probably all of them. Right. Okay. This I am going to time lapse because I I always find this quite funny when you do time lapse and cutting trees. Yeah, you look like some demented longer running around. Right, anyway. Enough of this. Yes, I am going to say my words. I'm going to see you guys and gals on the other side.
And I think that'll do me. I'm not trying to decimate all of them, but just to literally give us as much of field six here to get rid of all of that top section there that was really in the way. To give us the most out of field six, I realise there's a couple of buildings and a bit of a road on it, but it is the best field that I can see. The, yeah, it is amazing. It's a point we are going to need to plough that. Are we going to manually plough that? Let's go and see. Let's have a quick look and see how they're all actually doing. There seems to be some that are... Oh no, they're doing a crap. Wow, they are covering some distance. I've got to give them the two. Wow. For the same, we've been in 10 minutes or so over there. Right, let's go and grab one of the pillars. Let's grab the, I think the versatile. is slightly quicker. Like slightly, I'm sure it is. In fact, no, this is quite a lot quicker. This is almost, yeah, full speed tractor. Whereas it's definitely got the... Uh, better of that. Yes, I love using that tree begun. I am shocked at the prices you get for the trees though, some of those big ones. That massive, massive one, 1881 for the humongous great one that you normally get. It just goes to show how delimit makes a difference. I shall have to do that. Obviously, really, I'm just trying to get short of the thing and it is, it's, I, I find it just the same as using the tree be gone. Only of course you are getting a little bit of money for it, which wouldn't you wish to do that? It's not like proper tree husbandry, but it, at least you're getting something. It's like the I used to love that about the tree maverick. If you're gonna destroy trees, at least grab the wood chips from them rather than them just disappear into the ether. But right, so field six. We're gonna just carve a field that's unfold in advance. Yeah. Oh, we're we going to now that we need to do a loud crack fields. And I can't remember, I think if you get out of the tractor and... No, it's as long as the session's active, it's still on loud crack fields. Right. Do we just carve a... Yes, I think we carve a field out, because we are going to put animals down as well, but then it always puts the little... Why oh, do we want that? Or are we going to go... Whoa. Wow, that's a bit leery. Now you're going to clock the tree. Right, how are we going to do this? I think we're going to do the top section and as a carved out field. Whoa, that is weird. Right, this is going to be full. Ha ha. Yeah, this is doing weird things, the shuffle stuck. Right, okay then, let's do, yeah, top section is field, and this is the bestest soil. Right, down, let's get cracking. Let's try and level up. Yeah, that's true, I am going to have to lift this and then sort of go around corners in a way, but I am going to be lifting it and going around corners, definitely. Yeah, like now, I want to start to go in another direction. Let's lift it. And. Hmm, you see, it doesn't want to. Yeah, it doesn't want to do what you want it to do. They're going to have to go backwards with the schnuff. Well, this is going to be pr good practice on good reversing. This is not going to look pretty. I'm going to need to use a little plough. I think we're going to need to adjust the 9 metres back into 6 metres to try to get this something like, because the field edge is going to be awful. And I'm not quite as bad as Frithgar, but I do like my field edges to be reasonable. In fact, yeah, he knows. Uh, no, do want to go slightly left. Let's lift and... Yeah. To go backwards and and drop. Mm. Yes, the schnuffle stuck is adding a degree of complexity. Now, I don't mind little tiny movements. I think a, a plough could probably get away with that, even especially with something like the schnuffle stuck on the back. But yeah, nothing major. Now that actually adjusts itself. So sort of, you can almost, in a way, 
play around corners without playing around corners. Because that is straight. Right. And then that's getting a tad too close to the boundary. Hmm. It's going to drag against the boundary because I can't help it. And then it's going to go veering out. So, now that is the curse of the articulated tracks. I'm always saying about how good they are, and I am, but that obviously is when things go a little bit amiss. Right. I will not be using right to the boundary though. Right. Hmm. Will you straighten up? Right. So our field oh, that's bizarre. You should not have done that. You were straight. for getting level. I suppose it wouldn't be so bad if it was the T9 because you yeah it's the schnuffle stuck which is adding an element of uh, difficulty. And the fact that it's uh, articulated as well. It's yeah doing strange things to yeah. Yeah it's like that's um, that straight but it's not. trying to cut the entire field six. I'd like to I would I've not done sugar cane in a long time. I'd like to go sugar cane. And you don't need a massive field, but yeah, if we're gonna do it, let's go big. But I'd like the obviously the bottom of this field it needs to be for our animals, so we can always fine tune this with the uh, nine meter plough to get a good edge. Say about there. Fantastic. Let's twizzle around. Be careful of the equipment. Whoa, that was wild. Oh, now you're going to clack my equipment, which is exactly what I didn't want to do. Right, how are we doing? I, I would guess that they're all full. Indeed they are. Right, let's push these. In fact, they're all in a row. Let's stick them all on the side of the field. Ah, so they weren't all full. Oh, I don't as well. That's true. My bad. Right. Left hand side. They're all, of course, going to fill pretty much soon anyway, so... A sensible person would have stopped them all. Well, actually, they, they have done well, but there's still an awful lot to go. Yeah, I think this is going to be definitely a time-lapse job in right. And, of course, you've got to try and remember where you were on the field. for me now that they've whizzed past there should be a bit of a sticky out bit where it's obvious that somebody yeah it was roughly about there ish right there we go I see it I see my line one. Luke, I know you're not 
full, but I may as well do it now. I may as well do them all. You've all got to be roughly. It's amazing how huh? one had got 2,300 knees and he got 17. I don't get that. They've all covered the same amount of field. Oh, no, I suppose that does make sense. People have always said about it, yeah, it all depends what, how much stone you've actually collected, because it is random. It is when the animation of the stone. There used to be a misco um Yeah, I heard Frithgar talk about it once um, that you'd got to do the whole field because it didn't matter that the word that it does matter. I proved that on No Man's Land. If you don't hit an animation of a stone, then you will not pick stone up. You can cycle on the bits where there are no stones. You will never pick stones up. It has to be the little white bits you can see on the floor. That's the only time you will grab stones when you see stones. I've shown that so many times right you are here. So right. Nearest. Let's grab the next one. Which is no that is a point. No, that is you. Now then so you're there. I'm not going too far. It's not going to be difficult for us to get, grab the book in. Yeah. And fish these off the side of the field. We've also got to plant this month as well. Actually, se yeah, seed really, you could say. Not plant really. Right, so I would say. Ah, uh, you're that one. You just go around the corner, you in think uh, you are the one I've just tempted aren't you yep you are and I think you should be as yes you were so these two at the top no, you were, yeah you were right for a long time whereas you're not I suppose it's still worth emptying the other one. But no rush. suppose actually if I put it in the rough area that it was roughly and press nearest it's still going to do its stuff anyway. Right, let's grab the one that was 900. It just seems silly to not do them so you were there. Right. Let's go for the nearest pile of stones which is down there. Right, so that should keep them yeah, they are well over, I would say two-thirds of the field has been done, thinking about it. It's only the middle section left to do, so really, yeah, they have done well. Definitely made a huge difference from three to five, as seriously. Even though this is, well, it's two fields, two squares, if you're going to uh, yeah, be precise. But it certainly has made a difference. I still think you could probably do seven or so to actually make this work. Where were you? Now, they missed some stone. How did they miss stone there? They ran over that. How did you miss that? Aha, you could because it seems to be on a different level. Yeah, it doesn't... It seems to hit a bump and go above it. How bizarre. Go on. We're trying to still find our way, which I think it was here. And let's let the fast track pass us by. I'm sure it was here. I have not a clue where you were.
luckily these know exactly where they're going which is useful right so how far did we get ah that's right we were just doing a turn yeah this is definitely challenging with this it's not not I enjoy ploughing normally but this is adding a uh, complexity that's really not nice and especially not for keeping straight lines it really is a bit of a nightmare right let's try and keep this straight or straighten up yeah I shall leave the saw bench thing it will reset at the next session yeah so we've done two thirds of the field which is going to be dedicated to and we're going to have sheep in the bottom section which we could actually place I did say I'd do it in the next session Let's just, yeah, let's straighten this edge up. At least I'll have it looking something like. Wow, and then let's just, yeah, carve the middle out. And then I should say, that's a point. When do we plant. Yeah, that is true. I'm just, oh, I think it's back end, isn't it? I'm sure it is for sugar cane. No, it's not. It's now. Brilliant. Okay. Have we got a planter? It's a point. I, I, I now that's something I'm sure I actually bought. Was a planter last time, or did I just? Oh, do you know? I can't remember if I did. I know I discussed it. What have we got? Cedars, no planters. Right, so why I think we're going to buy my favourite. It's about time. I did say about buying the the one that does everything, seeds and plants. Definitely. Right, I'm going to need to straighten up. This is really horrible. Yeah, it's definitely going to be some remedial work, I think, with the uh, six, nine metre plough, because this is just strange. Oh, I'm sure I can, f yeah, I'm sure I can do that once we've done what we've done. Yeah, it's just little bits like that where the meat doesn't eat anything that it's going to need. Right. to get missed like that. Oh, there is a tree stump there. Oh, that's right, there was. Can we do it? It is, I think we might need to lease a tree stump cutter for this one. It was was being really awkward. I did do, yeah, it, like it can't sense it. Yeah, definitely. I think we'll be uh, just for one tree stump, would you believe it? Oh, well, it is what it is. It's not like we can't afford it, but yeah, that's not the point, really. tidy up afterwards I'm not worried let's just literally go down to the bottom and then up again and then we'll just do tidy ups when we're finished yeah it's been a productive session I've been talking about doing this now this is strange because I never did this last time nor did I do the trees so oh there's you know, there is only one so I'm quite pleased actually that we've done uniquely different work this time and we're going to put sheep down which again I've not done yeah in fact, I don't think I've done sheep at all in FS22 full stop, so, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to worry, that's not going to quite do, there's going to be a bit left, but we'll do that afterwards. It isn't like with having such a monstrous plough that this actually is going to take us an awful long time. I treated myself to the John Deere, uh, did I just lease it or did I buy it? I think I leased it. Or did I buy it? No, I didn't. I bought it on... Uh, yeah, let's... No, let's not fold it, actually. That's going to take too long to unfold. It's it's quite a while for this one to unfold. So, no, let's just lift it. Yeah, on the... Uh, Robo's Road. Yeah, I did literally get the big 16-metre John Deere that's... Yeah, it was a little easier to transport on the roads than this beast would have been. 
yeah, I mean, these are unbelievable. It's only because on certain maps like this that you can sort of get away with that kind of thing. Because, uh, yeah, it is something I was saying. I'd like I like to play realistically, but I I need to sideload things like this onto a. Um, so you need a ramp, I think, or a couple of ramps. I'm going to have to try and have a look at this because I would like to fine tune this. So I was. Even on British maps, there is a place for a monster like this. You just have to put it on a low loader and take it to the field. But obviously to simulate that on farming simulate, that is not as easy. Like half of the ramps on half of these low loaders don't work. Not not these ones that say they've got ramps as an addition, like the Mac Trucker one. Yeah, I'm, I don't want to get scathing. I was about to say something derogatory. But no, it's... Uh, I suppose, yeah, I mean, if I was going to design something, and I know it's not going to be easy, I know that, I wouldn't bother sticking ramps on something if they're not going to work. I'd just say, that. Ah, I tried and I failed, and I wouldn't put the ramps on. Because I've tried to go up the ramps on that, and I cannot get it. It's like the tractor hits a brick wall when it tries to hit the ramps. It just literally, the wheels wobble. So, I mean, again, it is a new one, Mac Trucker's, I mean, Mac Trucker has released so much, and most of it is very top-notch stuff, so I'm not having to go at Mac Trucker, because he seems to have released an awful lot, or she, just, you cannot just assume, but I think it's, it sounds, yeah, I get the impression, that's all I can say, that's all anyone can ever say, really, isn't it? Yeah, top-notch stuff, amazing, reasonable, and with some very good features. Now that I'm going to clock that on time. Oh yeah. Right, let's get this tidy up done. Whoa, that skitters around on this. Yeah, but it's just, when you sort of, it says it's got ramps, they just, yeah, they are weird. So I wouldn't, one of the reasons I wanted it on one Let's Play was for the fact that it was also a trailer with ramps that I could actually, yeah, use vehicles on but that soon disappeared there was another bale trailer that I bought for that reason as well, massive bale trailer said it got ramps and tested it out I think it was on our let's play as well not Nova Stantia which one was it let's lift that over that let's lower it again oh, I can't remember it's the one that I always forget its name, it was a fantastic very hilly map it's European, very unique, and I just, no, 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 it wasn't over, something like that though, right, last little bit, other than the tidy up, right, so now we can fold, let's take this off, excellent, so, sheep, Ooh, wow, that is very strange, very strange, now then, yeah, that is a point, we want a road in the middle, We'll do a proper road at some point as well. But for now, we'll just make sure that we leave it. Right. Sheep. At least put the thing down. We're, yeah, we're running out of time now because oh, actually says that. Let's have a look. We are animals and sheep. And I did look at this last 77,195. I want two of them. Now, can we go out and field six ends about there oh we have got a tree that I did are we on six or sixteen no that's I uh, know that silo that's hard to say I would say we are looking at the green I want to go back to back now then you know where the two fields are together basically right it's, it's fairly I would say that is fairly looking at our silo but looking at the field edge, I think it's not far off. Right. Why are you not placing? I'm pressing the button, and you are not. Oh. Okay.
Smashing. Excellent. Let's go and have a look at those. See how we're doing. So we should be able to get to the back. So I'm, well, it doesn't matter. Let's turn the grid lines off. See if I remember it. Yay. Now these are better than, yeah, the, I did the open ones. Right, smashing. So that's them looking like real buildings now. And, yeah, what do we... Oh, that's to feed water. Is it all at the same place? Or do they not need water? That is, yeah, I haven't had even had sheep out. Or did I have them on Carmston? Sheep produce wool. Now, I presume then there's absolutely no difference. Okay, in honour of black sheep mudding, I'm going to go black sheep then. Definitely, and we're going to go select. Let's go. No, we don't. Oh no, 60 is fine. We in fact 50. We're going to do two 50s and buy. Absolutely yes. And select and no, no, no. I'm not trying to take you out. I'm wanting to buy some more. Select and. Buy. Yes, I do indeed. Now then, and let's do the same again. Absolutely. And also, I've got a friend who's Welsh. Yeah, absolutely. So, select and. Oh, it remembers the number as well. Absolutely, yes. Now, and select and. Bye. Absolutely amazing. Right now, let's look on animals and see what we need to put in there. Just grass. Is that it? The water, the, the grabbing the water from the. Oh, excellent. We may well put a um, a realistic fence around the side as well. Right, let's grab the. Oh, have we got a tractor? We have our little Zetas. They can manage nicely. Or oh, we have the yeah, the big versatile if we really wanted. Right, let's grab the little Zeta. <laughs> it's, let's see. Yeah, let's actually do that while we're here. Right. Let's, now this is yeah. Although I don't know that we're going to need a full 70 tons, but we may as well stick it because we're going to stick it in the silo when we're finished. It's not like we're not going to... Is it just grass or...? Yeah, just grass. Simple as. Right, okay then. Grass it is. We could even cut our own. Although, to be honest, I've always said this, it's very reasonable buying it in, so why don't we uh, leave our grass, we've, we've got our business model, we'll leave, we, we'll buy things from other farmers, I think. Right, grass, right, that's the other way, I think. Am I beginning to remember this? That's what I want to know. Well, we certainly dinted the million. Well, I think it was 800,000 today, but yeah, we've certainly dinted that. But then, that'll, that'll happen when you're trying to expand your farm and go into another, yeah, thing. Right. I do think, obviously, I'm trying to do productions that are based upon our business model. I'm not buying productions that we're not doing already, so yeah, we will be... Wow, struggling a little. I think this is a corpse, so the ver oh no, the versatile's got the schnuffle stuck, hasn't it? Probably would make more sense. But then it's it makes yeah, it does make it difficult with the schnuffle stuck. It's a bit like um with the lorry backs when you're reversing with the the Weirdle pop in the type, you know what I mean. The thing that you if your tractor has one. Dollies, that's the word I'm looking for. Right. How 
much do you need? Oh, that much. Right. Okay then. 18%. I think what we'll do is we'll probably buy a, um, a small trailer. Uh, in fact, isn't there one in the sales? Wasn't there a... There is. Absolutely. This would be perfect. I love these. Uh, now they don't wander around everywhere. Yeah, what's not to like for that? Absolutely, we will buy it for that. Smash it. Now that is going to be for the... Yeah, that's going to be filled with grass. And we're going to do that and leave it... Yeah. Has it got a cover? I think I need to buy the cover for me. Tractor. I've always said this about you, Zeta. Always like thought you were a plucky little tractor. This is never underestimate little tractors. So that is our new animals bedded in. We have our exceptionally straight plow lined field on six. Oh, that's oh oh you look oh is somebody full again? And he holding everybody else up. I uh, can't grab to you. Who is it? Who is holding everyone up? Oh, we have a Mexican standoff, that's all it is. I hate that. That's one bad thing about now. Is you two going to crash into each other? Right. I hate that traffic jam. There's nothing. Yeah, they weren't even full. It was just that. Oh. Right, I've got another one. You see, and this is obviously, I have always said this, I do truly understand that it's not perfect. Of course, but it has, isn't perfect at all. Now, I have no idea where you were going, so. I'm just going to stick you near the field edge. Going up and let you, yeah, that's a point. Let's, I think we'll do a bit of manual tidy with the last one. No, this is the last one. I remember and specifically said that. I screwed you. Stick the RX-170 and... Wow, I don't think we've got long left. I would say another 15 minutes or so, which I will time-lapse. Although, have we got any more jobs to do? Now then, let's... Yeah, we'll stick you on the edge and then we shall say find the nearest. So I'm not sure where you are at all, but you will know. And you are going to borrow to do all these little tidy ups, I think. Right. Right, let's get these little bit of stone bits up. These bits. I know it's not important, but. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well, as I frequently say, and I, as I was taught, and I think it's true. Although, yeah, I must admit, it does. I don't let things. I've got some friends who are getting older, and they've got such high standards of um, cleanliness that it bothers them. And now they're getting older, they can't do the things they were brought up to do. So I've always had an eye on the fact that. My standards are going to wander as I get older, and I've, yeah, I don't beat myself up about things that I have no control over, because I can see where it, uh, where it leads to as you do get older with my friends. Yeah, your standards are too high, and then you get older and you can't no longer meet those standards. It's right. Let's go to the top. Let's tidy the entire field up and then we'll uh, bring him back down and let him finish. Yeah, there is still quite a bit to do actually. Yeah, there is. I should say actually another half hour. It, it, it's. I am right. I think you could literally stick ten tractors on this and it would still... Let's bear in mind it is a big field. 
and they do do a lot of faffing around like this running up to the top they go along some imaginary lines and then do the next it is it is beautiful to watch it is but done halfway some time right I remember Nova Estancia that let's play it's not a, it was probably my least successful one there was a lot of course play there were massive fields yeah, the numbers were never good on it at all. It's a shame. It was a it was a fantastic Mexican map, but I did listen to the numbers. I've always said this: if people are not, yeah, don't. It was, yeah, there was too much time naps in, even for my liking, because it was all massive field work, and there was, I mean, and I'm talking monster fields that are really monstrous, where you needed a team of tractors. Uh, we'd got quite a few tractors, and we'd often hit these big fields with four or five tractors like we're doing here now so I tried to keep it interesting but it is yeah the way that the tractors it's very graceful the way that Causeway does it I find but you still have to be careful there were times that they crash into each other and yeah so you've got to keep your eye on it you can't think like I did with the plough person just leave it because that's what happens they'll do a gas through a field or right I think that's it May as well dump these as well. Being as we've got the tractor, it's silly not to. Right, I think, yeah, we probably will watch that. We haven't watched any of this. I think what we'll do is we'll, uh, yeah. We shall have a bird's eye view. We've done everything. We've done the animals. We have. That's true. We do need to buy my planter. The one that I threatened to buy. We will do. Let's set him down at the bottom. Now you should, you should see his strip. Not necessarily. He was probably just about to start one. So... Tell him to go nearest. And he'll find his own way. Right, so we are going to go to the shop. We're going to. No, let's grab the versatile. Now then, can the versatile grab this? It can if we choose the right hitch. Indeed, it can. We could take the shuffle stop, but actually, for once, let's get an implement. Oh, you cannot do that to the shuffle stock because you can't ever get it. Oh, I'm gonna have to reset that. Do you know, I have more resets with this shuffle stock. I keep forgetting it's gonna be one of those pieces of equipment that I've got to get used to doing that. So, we will be grabbing the shuffle stock again. Yeah, you've got to let go of the. Um, equipment and then the schnuffle stalk you can't leave it on because it just does that dangling in the air bit right we do need to sort that out as well that that tree stump is standing out like a sore thought right okay well at least it's not been boring just watching the stone pickers going because it is just tend to be this is what I said as a content creator if on a session where you have got all the jobs to do you can misdirect everybody away from the yeah the jobs that are a little bit boring right let's yeah in fact let's I think this is an islet isn't it I'm sure these are the well I could use a schnuffle stalk but why do that when I can do it directly Let's go and fix and give this. Oh, well, you can't have the cover when it's on. Max size, I remember. I had this off and it had this for long enough at the old stream farm. I love this, apart from the fact that it moved, which I think has been improved. I'm not going to say totally. I, I know these things are difficult to do. Yeah, I, I, um, I've got this on another Let's Play since I knew it would have had an update, and it is definitely a much better now. I could live with it. Repair, repair, customize. 
Let's see if we can go for... Okay, it's a 17,000 one, isn't it? You can still have a cover. Let's try. Let's see if the cover disappears and we know... Oh, we can have attaches. Cover, yes. Right, yeah, that'll do then. What that'll do, because that way at least it's a more believable, realistic... I do, I do want different colours though. I'm not a grey is my least favourite colour of everything. Well, should we go for a nice orange, but not such a... If that's yellow, it's more beigey to me. Go on, it's, it's nice and... Yeah, that'll do me. It's different. Right, smash it, and it's got a trailer hitch, so... Yeah, but they don't use that much. So 17 tonner. Right, so. Yeah. We're not, not gonna. Yeah, we're gonna. Let's grab the planter. That's the most important thing. It's talked about this for long enough. And yeah, we don't need to till because we are using the plows to. So I don't need on this one to worry about it. Otherwise I'd go for this. The new John Deere 71 Flex Planter that has direct drill. Yeah, but no, we're going to go for my absolute favourite. And we are going to go for Trader Attacher. And now we're seriously dinting our money. Less than half a mil. But it's all growth. Yep. In time, I would probably want a couple of these. Smash it. Yes, excellent. Hey, I'm going to look forward to using this. Right, so first things first, sugar cane, oh, we could do some, yeah we could actually, that is true. Did I miss sugar cane? Oh, seed radish, grass, corn, sunflowers, soy, sugar beet, plonker, you can't plant, you need, I know what I was thinking. There's that new potato one that can do sugar cane. I think we'll lease that because I do want to do sugar cane. I should, no, actually, sugar beet does make more sense. Thinking about it, it does actually. We need sugar beet for the BGA. So actually, yes. As much as I would like to do some sugar cane, we're going to go sugar beet first because it, it actually suits our business model. It really does. Right. So do we need to? Open those. We do. Right. Let's fill this with seeds. Or may as well. May as well get everything going. I'm not going to. No, I'll get it ready, ready, but I'm not going to actually do it. So that, this could be next session. We can uh, definitely seed. Seed that field. And we also need to seed the other field. We've also, yeah, yeah, actually, that's true. We've got an eight. Yeah, I do think we would all, ought to buy another one. Oh, that actually was. I thought I was not going to be realistic, but that's fine. And we cannot with this. Yeah, we can't have a front box, which is a shame because I would like to stuck another three tons on the front of this. We can, of course, create the course. For next time and leave it ready to rock and roll. Besides which I think 5,800. Although this is quite seed intensive, I will say that. Let's unfold you. Assist course play in sensing you. Right, so then we need to create a job for your position. Will you sense that? Oh, you do straight away. Fantastic. Open generator, we're going to call this field 6. 18.2 meter, one tool, and like two headlands. No, three because of the trees at the top. Generate. I would imagine that's going to be 
So you can only do, oh no, you can do three, you are doing three. Smashing. Right, save that. That field, we need to create a new folder. Six. And we want to save the course. 18 meter. Let's have a look. Smashing. Ready to rock and roll next time. Well, yeah, but that's a point. I've not done the tidy at work on that. Ah. Yeah, that's true. Oh, well, it's not the end of the world. It really is. It was almost okay. It was not. That will bug me. It will. I will definitely have to remedy that at some point. Right, so let's. Oh, not again. This is, this is getting old very quickly. Right, who is who is causing the traffic jam? Is it you? Well, actually, I've nearly figured it out, though. Is it are you stopped as well? Now then, let's switch some lines on. Mind you, I have no idea. That's the trouble when you've got five tools on the go. It's there's no way for you to know who is where. So this here looks like someone has missed it. So is this you? That's all I'm going to say. Now, is everybody working again? He's waiting for him. Yeah, no, it wasn't him actually. Right, come on, you've got to be this row, surely. Oh, you could have been a down though, couldn't you? You were. Right, okay, in that case, I'd say. should be from the top leading down and then it'll go back up oh, if this is it and I would say it would be yeah because this is the one we disturbed mind you we did disturb two but let's see this is a guesstimate so it goes down and then you're going to come back up If you're right, nearest. Yay, I do love it when a plan comes together. Right, we need to keep it. Do we need to keep our eyes on this? Probably when they get to the bottom. Right, we've set that going for next time. We've done our sheep. The animals are all happy. Dairy. Now that's a point. Have we got any. I think I did the milk. It was last session. This is. Yeah, this is straight after the previous session. So we'll do that one and then. Ah, someone's finished. Brilliant, we have our first finisher. Absolutely excellent. We've already done the clean up work. That's all. No, we must keep the stones in these and go and tip them manually. With all of them. I'm not I'm gonna leave them though, we'll do the follow me and get the stones tipped next time and grab you little yeah they only get a little bit of work sometimes but I suppose that is the nature of the beast so that means there should be another one finishing soon I would imagine yeah they all look like they've got enough room in there from buckets yeah it's these weird lines when they go right to the edge of the field instead of just doing a quick turn Don't get me wrong, I'm not calling cosplay. It's it, I just think it's uh, it's quite amazing. I mean, let's be honest. It saves so much work. It's a, such an amazing tool. Yes, it has got its foibles. I'd be the first to say that. I don't know how many hours I've lost through cosplay, as well as, but that's 
I've always had that healthy respect for it like that, like I saved it early when I was creating a big course, because they're the ones that can go wrong and literally thrash your computer and they'll crash the, the giant's engine, so you've got to be careful with it. Right, let's grab, let's go in the front, the lead one. Yeah, these are quite close to being done. Well, we did time lapse very little. In fact, did we, have we done a single time lapse in this one? I don't think I have. I said about dinner time lapse and then we went somewhere else. There may be one, I'm not sure, but I don't think there is, if I'm honest. I think for once this is I don't yeah, I don't ever want to give the impression that I wish to time lapse. It's not my way of if we've got things to do like this, I can both chat about it and do it. But some sessions that I have said this so frequently, the farm dictates the jobs that you've got to do and yeah can't argue with that and sometimes if a job's going to be like the same task and you race it across the map then yeah a time lapse to me is the way to go if you wish to show everything like I do that's always been my ethos then you know there's no cheating going on although there are still ways to cheat if you wish to which again is something I've seen you could stop recording and then do something else which is why I go my menus a lot so that you can even see how much of a product I've got yeah I'm not a cheat I don't like it but yeah there are always ways to cheat for someone who is a cheat but I suppose I'm what I'm trying to say like in um, when I was a plumber, I like to be transparent. I like to, for people to see that I'm honest as well as you are being honest. That way, yeah. Right, so fast track is. Oh, well, yeah, we are very close to being there. I think this is, is this. I reckon this is his last row. Unless, of course, he's the one that has to go back up. Now, I don't know why Alexa's piping up because I didn't even say a name. Is she going on about? No idea. Gadgets and gizmos. I don't know. Oh no, it's that one. I think this is probably his last row then. Yeah, I don't know what that bit, that one stone that we saw. It looks like the level of the field's not right for one little bit. So we might see if we can. No, we we'll wait. It's. It's not the end of the world. I can live with a little dimple in the field. It's, yeah. Now, someone's got that little bit of work to do on that right hand side. Small bits. I don't know whose bit that is. Yeah, let's just switch. Start, stop only, and see where. It's hard to say. I would say this is his stop. You've got to bear in mind that it would be stopping with five tractors in a row. So I would say this is your end. And I would be right. Thank you very much, Luke, for your faithful service. You did a very good job. I've never seen a field of this size done so quickly. Although this session has been a lot monster, I've just looked at the time. <laughs> yeah, I would say this has been a monster two hour session. Right, okay, let's pick the next one, I would say. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, let's actually start to line these up now. Didn't think that through very well. Yeah, that's, that's because I'm out of the habit of getting everybody ready for follow me, if I'm honest. I used to automatically do this when follow me was... Yeah, still not quite uh, got used to it being back in the game. It's uh, quite amazing. Uh, there was a time I said, oh, there's not a real need for follow me now that we've got uh, workers being able to... Uh, send across the map but we all know how that went yeah it's to me seems to have wow no 
actually, yeah, let's do the tidy up bit with you because I think I don't know if that is the fast track that's supposed to do this last little bit, but we should do it for him and we should manually stop them once they've done their row. This is what I love about articulate tractors when you're doing work like this. The fact that they can literally do that is so amazing. I did No Man's Land with the Deutz. Boy, is it fantastic for that fact. I think that's it. But let's just let us be thorough. I'm not sure if this widens out again higher up. Let's be thorough. I don't want any bits and bobs left. I think that is the fast tracks last. Tra I reckon this was the fast tracks. So. It's a bit thorough though. Wow, these are big fields. Yeah, in fact, I'm going to stick this up with a bear. We'll just finish off with a fast track. And that is where we're going to end things. Yeah, although the, this month has not ended, we have a lot of work left to do. I'm still tempted to buy a second one of the 18 metres for this type of field. Although. No, we could use the two sixes that we've got. Yeah, I reckon we will actually. Whoa. Let's not attack it. Right, let's grab it for you. And we shall allow you to finish this job. We're not going to muscle it, but we shall stop you at the end of the field. Thank you very much, Ginoso. Amazing heroine that you were. Tell can you when you're clicking on the thing, you have to be outside of it and then look on the thing, and then you can see their name. Yeah, do you know? So it is right, and that's all oh, there is a bit of stone to the right of us. We'll grab that. Oh, that might be that bit that we can't, but then again, it's yeah, they do miss the odd one on the turn sometimes, it's not perfect. Fantastic. That's not bad. There's not many stones left, so excellent. So we've got some of them up here and some of them down the bottom. Let's grab the bear and turn it around. Oh no, so we need to scan actually, that is true. We're not doing that now though, that's the next next session job. Definitely, definitely, definitely. smashing and that is a wrap so we are not only caught up we've actually sort of overtaken because we've done things this time that we didn't do before we have sheep we have absolutely massive growth yeah we've got um well, i was looking at the uh things thinking yeah we've got 100 sheep in both so they've got the ability to grow to fill up to yeah nearly 200 so they can grow and double up and the yeah these likewise reproduction ah that's right they were bought so yeah then actually a few more months and they will be dropping another 120 and then a few months after that we will be dropping another 120 which will fill it of course there'll be a lot of little youngsters but it doesn't take them long to grow so absolutely amazing growth i am i am blown away actually this is my low note to me but my which was my best FS19 let's play cut short I might add but yeah this is going where I have never gone before and of course has productions as well so yeah if you have any suggestions any direction that you would like me to do any mods or even equipment to buy I love to buy new equipment and show showcase it I do like to use new mods I truly do um, so yeah if there's anything you'd like to see I don't mind doing I don't do mod reviews per se, but I do often incorporate a mod and give it a review in sessions. So yeah, I might start to do that and break little bits of a session down as a review. But if there's anything anybody would like to be me to look at and go through, I will gladly do it. I I can be scientific. I can I love do scientific testing. I do. I often have a quite an analytical way. I think that's the problem solving of my job of doing things if there's a problem 
and yeah sometimes go off tangent but most of the time yeah I think uh, Robo's Road um, I knew there was a problem with the map I started to analyze and started to work with equipment to see what the problem was and I pretty much yeah um, JM Gaming the author of the map was in contact through the channel and um, yeah I worked with him to try to see things were and, and he is already going to do a hot fix he left a message yesterday to say he's already going to do a hot fix he knows what it is now so it's nice when we can all work together to try and fix things uh, it is it's yeah and uh, what an amazing modder that in within a weekend of his map being released at last friday already on it to know the one thing that was wrong with the map he's fixing and it is an amazing map really if you want to see truly beauty i mean i love calmston i truly do but robos road is it is a glorious there's some absolutely idyllic beauty spots really nice little walks through forests and yeah if you fancy just even there's a lovely bench next to one of the fields that you own on the thing where you can <laughs> go and sit and contemplate the meaning of life is exactly what I said but it is true sometimes it is nice just to enjoy the vista I do love this Mr. Silly P's right he often says that himself about rushing around and sometimes you just gotta just look around and just see the beauty of this because it is absolutely I mean life is more beautiful but 4k when you're looking out across the fields with how much work has been gone into the graphic engine you can almost taste life and that is nice it's nothing obviously this is my escape and it is many people's escape if I had the money of course I'd love to do a bit of farming but why not what's not to enjoy I can buy a game and enjoy the quality thanks to Giant so hat off to Giant for once I'm not bashing this time I'm saying thank you very much for such a cracking game yes it's got faults and to all the modders out there, a massive, massive shout out. Thank you so much for all of the hard work that you do so that we may enjoy this absolutely fantastic game. It's not perfect, but it's pretty darn good. So thank you all for such a massive, fantastic game. It is amazing. And on that note, I am going to say, I hope you're going to stick with me on this journey. Suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And I'm going to say goodbye for now.